Hello everyone, long time no see. I've had a long last week or so with a lot of life changes and a lot of visitors to my new place. So I'm finally getting to spend some time just journaling, time to myself. And with everything being so chaotic, I've decided that I get to treat myself. So I did get a new bullet journal. But before I reveal that, I just wanted to review my current bullet journal stack. And of course, it's not very big or complex. I, it's pretty simple, which is how I like to keep things. But to start with, I have my pocketbook from bullet journal. It's so convenient. I do throw it in my purse when I take it to work. I have some monthly tabs from the Coffee Monsters Co. Super small, super easy to write in. The pages, they do have a smaller GSM. It's not as thick of a paper as what I'm typically used to using, but I do love it. It's super convenient and it's exactly what I'm looking for in a travel book. And of course, my main, my main girl, the undated blank dotted notebook from Hemlock and Oak. They did send this to me and I'm eternally grateful to them because it's really allowed me to become the most consistent journaler that I've been so far in the last five years. I again have my tabs from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I use this Oh goodness, I, it's just the best. I love it. I genuinely love it. And I'm so sad that I probably won't be able to finish the year out in this, but that's okay because I have some plans for what to do next. Um, but yeah, so since we've taken a look at what I have so far, I do want to tell you I'm very excited. I'm going to be trying a new setup with this next one. So let me put this off to the side. Here she is. It's a dotted notebook from Archer and Olive. It has this beautiful pressed cover with a slight foil to it. It's neutral, of course. And it's a little bit more of a design than I've had in the past on the cover page, but I do love it. It's very pretty. It's exactly what I'm looking for. And here, let's scoot it over. I have kind of planned out what I'm going to use it for, but we'll get more into that as we go along and I'll take you with me to set it up. All right. So this is in the size, oh goodness, pretty sure it's A6. I see, I never remember what bullet journal sizes I prefer to use. So we'll just quick write in. And then the date that I'm starting this. I wanted to do something a little bit different than my standard setup just because I really want to get into journaling. I'm genuinely doing daily journals, journal entries, because it's not something that I've been able to do in the past because I'm not super consistent, which is something that I've struggled with is staying consistent in a bullet journal. So my plan is to just use this, you know, kind of as a tracker, a daily tracker, not a habit tracker. I'm awful at those, but I'm going to keep track of the books I've read as well as some future goals. Nothing crazy, very straightforward. Um, but I am going to probably end up using this journal to use more color, which is something I obviously don't do very often. Not that color is bad, but color does, I guess you could say, scare me just because I don't always know if I'm going to like it when I look back. Um, because when I look back at some of my older bullet journals and I used a lot of color and a lot of stickers as well as washi tape, they're not my favorite. But in the moment, I liked it and I suppose that's what matters because it allows me to reflect the way I was feeling and thinking at the time. Um, but I don't think I'm going to stray too far from black and white, the grays and the browns and the tans, just very neutral. 
although I did order some washi tape from this amazing shop in Australia. Pretty sure it's Marshall Studios. And I did get a few more colorful but also simple stickers and washi tape. And I'm excited to share that with you when it comes in. Um, just very cute. And I think I want to add more doodle stickers. I love Daisy Paper Co. They provide the best mini minimal stickers that I use a lot for my main bullet journal from Hemlock and Oak. And I want to kind of expand into maybe some bigger stickers. Um, okay, so this is my reading list setup. Super simple. Nothing crazy. Again, um, and I don't know if I'm going to be reading this many books throughout the year. So this is what we're going to start with. Oh, I should have got a longer ruler for this. Setting up bullet journals, like with a year at a glance or monthly setups, the people that do that, honestly, I'm extremely jealous because I just feel like I would never look back at it as often as I should or I wouldn't fill out habit trackers. So the fact that some people are able to do that, I'm, I wish I could, like seriously. I don't have, I don't know if it's the discipline or if it's more of just consistency, but I feel like if I were to try to do that, I would be wasting pages just because I wouldn't use it the way I should or I would want. Um, I think goals are good to keep track of. And I'm not necessarily going to be keeping track of these, but it's just something like a page of reminders. And so I've divided it up into financial, work, and personal because I'm not a student anymore, so I don't necessarily have to do academic. Um, I've thought about going back to school for a master's degree. But I don't know. I'm pretty happy with where I am at right now, and I want to see where I can get with the degree that degree that I did just get here in May but for my financial goals I do have to start paying student loans back here this winter and so I want to be prepared for that I'm sitting pretty good right now but it is going to take a while to get all that in order and then I also want to save up for a new car because the city that I moved to after college the roads are a bit more hilly and winding, you know, yeah. So, um, I think the current sedan that I have isn't going to be great for winter because I do live in the Midwest and we do get a lot of snow and snowstorms and I've been having car problems for the last two years. I did my nails before this and I really should have waited longer. That's fine. And for work goals, I want to continue working towards my two-year anniversary, working for the company that I'm at. I did just switch locations within the network, um, but you know, it's an easy goal. It's something that I know I can accomplish. Uh, I do really love my job. It's a lot better than the last job that I had. Uh, and my last job, I don't think I was necessarily supposed to like it. I knew that it was more for setting me up to get further in my profession and that's exactly what it did it was a stepping stone and I'm really grateful to be able to be done with that and then here again in personal goals I want to get a reliable car just because it's better for my safety um, and then of course I'm like a broken record I want to really push for more consistency in my life not in just bullet journaling but seeing family and friends and 
yeah so this is what we're gonna do and as I come up with them I'll just add them into each category but let's connect them I'm also doing a new camera setup I don't know if you can tell and I'm a little nervous that you're just gonna be seeing a bunch of my like the top of my head I think it, this is a better setup for showing you how I'm putting together my new journal. So that's what we're going to go with. Now I have decided that I'm going to be doing cover pages in this journal. I've also decided that I need to order more monthly tabs. So if you have a sticker shop that you enjoy getting monthly tabs from that are neutral and simple, please let me know and I will look into it because I do need to order those. Now with this bullet journal I've decided I'm not going to be doing a monthly calendar just because I don't think I need it um, and I don't think I would reference it as much as I would like. So this is what we're going to leave it at. Super simple, just doing August and the month date. Maybe I should add a dash there. Dot. I'm going to leave it for now. Okay, this is what this journal is going to be used for, what I'm showing you now. Um, I, I know it's very similar to some of the journals that you can buy and planners that you can purchase, um, but I prefer to create it on my own because down the road I may decide to switch it up. And I don't know how often I'm going to actually use it, and I think it's basic enough for now where I will feel comfortable filling it in. So this is what we're going to go with. We're doing the day of the month, the day of the week, a priority column as well as projects that I'm going to be working on because I do want to get more involved with my content and surprise surprise more consistent with it and then a section for some daily journaling or just daily thoughts as well as what I'm currently reading. I don't think I've read this much since I was in fifth grade. Not that I'm reading at a fifth grade level, but when I was in elementary school, I would tear through books like my life depended on it. And I'm kind of back to that point, like where I'm reading at least one book a week, if not two or three, because I have nothing better to do. I could be cleaning, but since I don't have homework, I need to fill my time up. With something else and so reading has really become a big part of my life again so I want to give myself a spot where I can write about what I'm currently reading um, and yeah so I'm going to quick set up this first page of August and write down the things that I'm going to be doing and my little reflection for the day and I will get back to you
Okay, I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna call this good. I just, my sister came to visit and stayed with us for a few days. Um, so just kind of talked about that. I'm currently between books at the moment, so I'm gonna fill this in probably tonight when I figure out what I wanna read. Um, but this is like the general setup. I haven't written this much in a while. My hand is starting to cramp. It's not even that much, but you can tell my handwriting kind of took a hit towards the end of it. And so did my spelling, so that's great. But this is what we're gonna go with. I'm still a little nervous with keeping up with this bullet journal. I love it. It's gorgeous. And I'm so glad that Archer and Olive have neutral journal options. But I think it's going to be a real testament to how much I love bullet journaling to keep up with three journals now in my stack. So I really appreciate you being here and watching with me. Um, and hopefully next time I give you an update I'm doing well with it, but if you have any other content that you want to see from me, please let me know, and I'll be sure to give it a try. Thanks, guys.